Well, we all speak in English and if you notice very carefully, most part of our language is dominated uh, or, or most part of our language comes from the place where we live in, don't you think so? Well, all around us we hear people speaking and that is where we pick up these slangs. Well, not just that, whatever is our mother tongue, most part of our language is dominated by that and which is why that particularly makes our language really, really colloquial. Precisely why in this video we are going to discuss about funny colloquial English mistakes we make. Well. All, you know, almost all of us, we do may end up making colloquial mistakes and sometimes we don't even realize how funny they are. Primarily because of probably, you know, the place where we live in, we hear people all around speaking and we just pick it up and we start using it in our language. Well, this video is going to clear all those or this video is going to bring forth to you all these funny mistakes which we make in English and are primarily colloquial in nature. Well, you all are once again most welcome to Tutorials Point. Let's go ahead and learn about these funny colloquial English mistakes so that we avoid making them going forward. Well, the first one and probably the funniest one is ATM machine. Don't you think we use it day in day out? But it is really, really funny because ATM, as it is the M part of the acronym ATM, is machine. So it'll be like automatic teller machine machine. So we don't need to call it ATM machine. We need to call it ATM, right? So ATM in itself uh, engulfs this word machine. We don't need to use it again. That makes it very, very funny and colloquial. So if you think you do use it like that, ATM machine, well, you might want to correct it because that is really funny and you don't want to use it. Okay, propose. Well, whenever we hear this word, the only thing that pops up in our mind is a guy proposing a girl for marriage. Well, not really. Propose is not the only proposal which is made for marriage. Propose could be used anywhere. You could propose a project or I proposed a particular, uh, you know, coach for that entire project to um, to probably defend, to, to take care of the finance part of the project. So, Propose could be whenever you make a suggestion, that is a proposal in the form of a request primarily, that is a proposal. So propose, when you hear this word, well, don't just mix it up with a proposal for marriage. It could be something different as well. Do one thing, do one thing, go to the room, then look into the Almira. In that Almira, you'll find so-and-so thing. Pick it up and come back. Well, do one thing is yet another very, very colloquial phrase. And invariably, any person, if you observe, who probably tells you to do one thing, ends up telling you to do many, many things. It definitely happens. So do one thing is yet another colloquial phrase and is not the most appropriate way. You could probably give simple instructions instead. You might want to go there into the room or you might want to go and check out in the room. It might be available there. You could put forward your instructions in different way, but do one thing is not the most appropriate way. It is rather colloquial to, um, probably use it in your language so you might want to stop using it what is your good name well does anybody ever have a bad name did you ever hear anyone saying that I have a bad name well not really no one has a bad name on the other side no one even has a good name what is your name is the best way to call it out instead of saying what is your good name it definitely is very colloquial and is not very appropriate so what is your good name is something which you might want to avoid because not the most appropriate way to ask anybody's name what is your name is the best way please put a mail well what do you think am I going to put into the mail? Am I going to put some savouries? Am I going to put some sweets? Am I going to put some gums to chew? Well, not really. You don't put a mail. Well, you type a mail or you send across a mail. You don't put a mail. So this again is a very, very common colloquial phrase which is used, which I definitely have heard so many people using it day in day out but is not correct you don't put a mail you don't put across a mail you send across a mail or you type a mail right so next time do not 
forget to use it in the right way or please forget to put a mail next time rather remember to send a mail or to type a mail me and my friend went to shopping this evening well me and my friend is not the correct way my friend and i because this again follows the rule of first person pronoun wherein you and your friend have or you and your friend have decided to go for a shopping so me and my friend is not the right way it on the contrary is my friend and i um, went to shopping last week or my friend and i went um, to the parlor last week so that is the right way instead of saying me and my friend it's my friend and i repeated twice well think about it twice because repeated twice is again wrong repeated in itself means to probably say something again and again right so repeated twice don't you think it is not twice is just not needed it's just like atm machine well i repeated it time and again if you want to probably put more stress on repeated you might want to use i repeated it time and again but repeated twice is again funny and colloquial and wrong so it's not repeated twice it is i repeated it again or i repeated the entire sentence well repeated obviously means you 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 said something again right or you spoke it out again so that is uh, what is meant by repeated and invariably it doesn't need twice to make it more meaningful so delete twice and when you're using repeated well another funny phrase 7 a.m in the morning well 7 a.m is never in the evening 7 a.m is always in the morning so avoid using morning rather delete this morning from this phrase because i went there at 7 a.m or i went there at 7 in the morning so if you are not mentioning a.m along with the time then you might want to use morning or evening but if you are mentioning am or pm well you do not use to need you do not need to use morning or evening with it that would make it flawed and funny at the same time well all these words i'm sure if you sit and introspect and reflect on your language definitely you would be using at least a few of them in your real language and now that you are aware that they are wrong well you might want to replace them and improvise your English and along with it make it sound less funny for everybody. Well, I will see you again in the next video with another um, important piece of information. Till that time, keep learning with tutorials, fine and tutorics. Have a good day.